Yuki Tsukumo, also known as Trailer Swift. Okay, I am the only one that calls her that, bet. A special grade sorcerer that packs a punch and looks great in shorts, but why do people say she's a wasted character? Let's look at some of the issues people bring up, but first, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm really close to hitting the 500 milestone. Thank you. She's a cool character. The final special grade. No domain expansion reveal. No interactions with her pupil Toto. Died in her first fight. And her relationship with Tengen. The Rebel Without a Cause stood as a contradiction to two very important figures in Jujutsu Kaisen. Gojo and Ghetto. Well actually let's say Kenjaku. Okay, Ghetto too. Gojo embraced his power as a special grade and worked within the constructs of Jujutsu Sorcery, whereas Yuki was an outlier who opposed that very system. Kenjaku embraced optimizing curse energy, whereas Yuki wanted to be rid of the very power that essentially made her a goddess among humans. She wants a world with no cursed energy. On paper, she sounds a bit sus and it doesn't help when she gives Ghetto the push needed to bring into his own solution for the current problem plaguing his worldview. But we know Yuki meant well in the end. As a special grade sorcerer, she acted on her whims. That is the role she played and I believe she filled her role just fine. I'm not a Yuki fan, nor am I a Yuki hater. I'll respect your opinion if you think she is a wasted character, but I personally am of the belief that no matter the position a character holds within the story's universe, it doesn't mean they automatically have to be a huge role player. Yuki has made a big enough impact and done enough for me to value her as a vital piece of the story I love. I can't in good conscience call her wasted because it would feel like I am undermining big moments whether they be good or bad moments. Her talk with Ghetto wasn't a great moment for her but shifted the story in an interesting direction and I think led to one of Gege's best examples of character writing in Suguru Ghetto. Her moment with Choso was moving and plays a big part in everyone's favorite big brother. This gave him the green light to live as a human which ultimately led to him being able to die as a human protecting the thing that was always important to him, his little brother. Choso is another great example of Gege's character writing. Yuki supplemented their growth as characters. She saved everyone from Arame and Shibuya as well and even passed on information that will come to help Yuji going forward. This journal can still pay off big but I know most won't accept that as a positive thing towards Yuki's character at this point. I am fine with knowing that but I would feel like I am doing a disservice to those important moments by calling her wasted just because I didn't see a domain or her talk to Toto. Those two things don't mean much in terms of the narrative, but the previous points I just brought up were huge moments in the timeline. Yes, yeah, she died in her first fight, but would you accept her fighting random characters prior to that engagement? It would have mattered to some because she was always meant to die in that fight. Some can't accept that. Now, I will cut some slack on Kenjaku walking away from the black hole like no big deal. That does suck. And her relationship with Tengen is a weird one. Riko shows us the life of a star plasma vessel, so it makes sense for Yuki to be against it like the other systems within the world of sorcery. The star plasma vessel thing in and of itself could have been handled differently, but that shouldn't just be thrown at why Yuki is a wasted care. Who knows, it could still get flushed out somehow. I mean, on the day of the merger, the Six Eyes and the Star Plasma Vessel appeared. Tangan's part in the story is not over yet, so we will see what happens with that. Now, the last thing is that she is a cool character. Gege writes characters that are indeed cool and polarizing. We get a glimpse of a character and the theories start rolling in, agendas take place, and people get invested before the character has a chance to cement their actual place in the story. Expectations rise for characters just because you think they are cool and that's understandable. I believe all of us have done this from time to time. So it sucks when they get relegated to a lesser role or die in their first fight. But I still don't think that means that character's a waste. You just let your expectations get the best of you and we've all been there. Oh and Yuki does look great in shorts by the way, can't deny that. Nagi Yoshino, that's a waste of character, okay Gege? All in all, for me, using the word wasted just seems a little too harsh on a character that supplemented in big character moments for, for two other characters that are written really well in my opinion. And she also has spread some influence in the background that you just have to care enough to look. 
but I can also see it shouldn't be that hard to see a character's worth on panel. I do understand that. It's just my opinion. I feel like the word wasted is just too harsh. I think she fulfilled her role and played her part beautifully. You're welcome to disagree. I respect that. And let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for staying for the whole video. Remember, stay normy, stay weeb. Shit even in between is fine. Until next time. Peace. What's up guys? I don't do this too often at the end of videos, but I recently just began my Fiverr account and started my journey on doing freelance thumbnail work. If you know anyone that needs a thumbnail or you need a thumbnail, hit me up on Twitter. My Fiverr link will be down below and I'll throw some images up of other thumbnails I've done. But I mean, you can look at my channel and see the thumbnails that I've made for myself. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you check that out, spread the word, and um, subscribe to the channel. Close to 500. I set a deadline for the end of August, so time is of the essence. I'd appreciate any support. Thank you.